I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Tech, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. And I just want to tell y'all, man, at the end of the day, right? I want y'all to understand that you are your own boss. You are your own boss. So you make all the calls. You make the tough decisions. You do all of that shit. You make the decision if you want to stop drinking. You make the decision if you want to stop doing drugs. You make the decision if you want to eat better. You make the decision if you want to be sober, if you want to go to school, if you want to better yourself, go to the gym. You want to do all of these things. You make that final decision. If you don't want to do those things, that's your decision as well. You want to eat better and all that shit, you make that move. That's your decision. You are the ultimate boss of your life. Nobody else can make these decisions for you. Nobody else is responsible for your decisions. If you want to go to jail, that is your decision. Your sexuality, that is your decision. You decide that. Nobody else decide that for you. You have a choice in this life. Understand that. You have a choice in this life. Nobody is going to force your hand. So when it comes to these tough decisions, these tough moves to make, understand that you are the boss of that. You are the boss. You run this shit. I made a video earlier about you being the champ. Yo, you are the boss as well. We gonna have, well listen, throughout this life, we are gonna have to make tough decisions. They not easy. It's not easy to make these decisions, but you have to make the decision that is best for you. Whatever decision you make, it has to be what's best for you and what's best for your family. Nobody else can make that call but you. Nobody else can make that call but you. Understand that. So what I want y'all to do is keep that in mind. Y'all need to keep that in mind before you make certain moves and have judgment, discernment about yourself before you do and when you do discernment that is the ability to have to make good judgment you know to have good judgment not everybody have discernment but pretty much that's what discernment is you can see things you can judge things very well that is discernment a lot of people don't have it and they end up making tons of mistakes because they just don't make the right moves they have zero discernment. They make bad decisions, okay? You know, you got people out there that make decisions based off their emotions. You cannot make decisions based off your emotions. If you make any emotional decision, that is not a good decision. That is not a good decision. Understand that. But as the boss of your life, you have the right and the duty and the responsibility to make the right decisions and the right moves that could better position yourself. If you choose to do otherwise, then guess what? That falls on you. It don't fall on anybody else. You have to pay the consequences for that, whether it's positive or negative. And a lot of people don't understand that. The thing, your people don't get to where they get to in life on accident. If your life in a shithole, your life down the fucking toilet, if it's in the shitter, you made the decisions to put it there, to put it there and make it that way. You made those decisions to do that. But if you live in a fruitful life, a prosperous life, you know what I mean? You out here manifesting things. You didn't now you didn't line yourself up, put yourself in position to win. You made that decision because you are the boss of your life. That's what you want to do. You got to make those tough calls. That's why I tell y'all all the time. Don't put your life in nobody's hands. Don't put your life in no woman's hands. She don't know you like you know you. Don't put your life in anybody's hands. People out here putting their, listen, putting their whole life in others' hands. Don't put your life in your friend's hands. Don't put your life in your brother's hands. Don't put your life in your mom's hands or your dad's hands. You control your life. You are the sole controller of your life. Nobody else. So with that being said, you be a boss. 
You be a boss. You make those tough decisions. You are the head coach. You are the head coach. You make the calls. You call the plays. You draw them shits up. And guess what? You execute them as well. Yeah, you got all those positions. And you the GM. Think about, think about yourself as a franchise. You run everything. You are the GM of your life. You are the vice president of your life. Okay? You are the coach of your life. The assistant coach of your life. You know what I mean? You are the head coach. And you the motherfucking player. You, you are the player. You think about all that. You do all of that. And guess what? You put it into action and you walk that shit. That makes you all aspects. You are control, in control of all aspects of your life. Nobody else. Stop putting that shit in the hands of other people. Because when you do, that's when you, you, you set yourself up for disappointment. You set yourself up for failure. You set yourself up to get hurt. You gonna get hurt. You gonna get hurt. Trusting in those guys that you don't even know like that. You gonna get hurt. Putting it all on your best friends to lead your life and get you this and get you that. You gonna get hurt. Putting that all on your mom and your family. You are the sole controller. Okay? So take advantage and understand that. Take advantage of that. Being that. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they, they feel like, though, they, 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 they like to point the finger at everybody else. They point the finger at the government. They point their finger at the police. They point their finger at every everything they feel is an authority. They point the finger at this person, that person, this figure, that figure. You know, it's their fault, it's music fault, it's the celebrities' fault, it's everybody else's fault. But they don't put nothing on their sales. They put it all in everybody else's hands and all of them are to blame. Nobody else to blame in, they, in, in, in your life. So you got to live life like that as well. You can't blame nobody but yourself. You are the sole controller. You have those fucking controllers like video games. You got that. You got that. You control how everything moves. Alright? And just keep that in mind as you walk. As you walk this life Keep that in mind As you make your next move in this life Keep that in mind As you excel and accelerate And do all of the things That you wanted to do You know what I'm saying Because that is what's going to help you That's going to give you that confidence to, Especially when you get to where you go in life Man, bruh, you're going to be like Yo, I did this I did this I put myself here I made the tough decisions And guess what I'm on now. I'm on now. And guess what? Can't nobody take that away from you. You made the decision to stop fapping. You made the decision to take control of your life, your masculinity, and uh, fucking elevate in this world. Put yourself, take yourself serious and, 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 and fucking grow. You know what I mean? And grow. You made that decision. You said you want to grow in life. I ain't trying to stay stagnant. I'm not trying to sit still. I need growth. So guess what you did? You went out there. You gained knowledge. You went out there. You put in that work. You know what I mean? You did everything that you needed to do to grow because that's what you wanted to do. Now, who else could you give credit for that? I'll wait. I'll wait. Who else you going to give credit for that, for you making that final decision? People could tell you anything. You could watch this video and do the total opposite. You could go read as many books and do the total opposite. You could sit there and gain all the knowledge in the world and do the total opposite. But guess what? You didn't. You didn't do the total opposite. You picked up all of those gems and you applied that to your life. You are a boss. Remember that. All right? Remember that. And that's my word, man. My name is Jason. It's Santake. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Yes. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Uh -huh. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Right. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters.